All right, here with my good buddy, Brandon Stukesbury today. Brandon, Ben's granddad wants to know if we can do a basic bunker video for him. I don't think that's gonna be any problem at all. It doesn't take too much to make you great out of bunkers. We can handle it. Stay tuned. All right, here we are in a green side bunker, and this is pretty typical. Green, green is a little bit elevated from the bunker. Bunker's kind of sitting down. We're looking up a little bit at the pin. It's a really tough shot for a lot of golfers out there, and I'm here to tell you, in theory, this should be the easiest shot in the game. It's the only shot where we don't actually have to hit the golf ball. We could hit one, two, three, depending on the type of sand, even four or five inches behind the ball and still get it out. And so the, the thought and idea when you come into a bunker shot has got to be very, very different than what you're going to experience when you hit it out of the fairway. You're not trying to hit the ball first. You're trying to hit the sand first, and the ball comes out of the sand on all that divot of sand that you throw up on the green. So we have to make a few adjustments and a few changes in setup and in technique that we're going to talk about here just a little bit. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is where the divot might be in a bunker. And so if I just if I just drew a line and stood right between it and made a normal golf swing, right? What you would see is that the divot would end up being in front of the line. If you look at my feet, it's right off the inside of my left foot. That would be a normal fairway shot. So the ball might be positioned in the middle. We would catch the ball on the way down, then peel the divot. That's ideal. In a bunker, that's not what we want. So if we put the ball in the middle of our stance, then we have preset ourselves to have to make some sort of adjustment move to not hit the ball first. Usually that manifests itself into someone flipping early or maybe even hanging back to try to hit the sand first, and that's not what we want. So when we talk about setup for a bunker shot, we have to make an adjustment to push the ball very far forward in the stance. When I say very far, if I have the same line opposite the golf ball, I want the golf ball almost off my left toe. That's way up there for where most folks will try to play a bunker shot. Certainly you would never play a shot that far, that far forward out of the fairway or out of the rough. But again, we're doing something a little different here. And so when it comes to set up in a bunker, that's got to be the first thing. The ball's got to be forward. The second thing I want to talk about is square setup. Now that's very different than most instruction or most opinions you'll hear out there. So if I draw a line right down the target line, I want to set my feet square to that. I repeat, square. I do not want to set open to the target. There's a lot of information out there about opening the club face and then rotating the body left of the flag until the face is square. Now hear me out. I'm not saying you can't hit a good bunker shot that way. I'm saying it makes it harder. And I'm all about trying to be easy and getting out of this thing and getting you on the green. So why would I want to try to make it harder? Okay, now the face is going to be open. The first question I usually get is, well, if the, the face is pointed to the right, then the ball's going to go to the right. Well, if you were hitting the ball, that might be true. But remember, we're not hitting the ball in a bunker. We're hitting the sand. And so it's okay for the face to be aimed to the right of the target and you to be square in your setup. So once we're square and the ball is forward off our left toe, the second thing or the, the, the third thing is we're going to take the face and we're going to rotate it until the, the grooves point approximately at the big toe. Okay, so now you have a face that aims to the right of the target with square feet to the target. Here's the last piece in setup. Most folks with the ball that far forward would want to lean left and angle the hands forward. And I'm here to tell you that's a disaster waiting to happen because of how the club needs to be used. We'll get to that in just a second. I want you to keep your weight 50-50. I want you to keep the handle pointed at the belt buckle or your zipper on your pants or shorts. Now that's going to look really funny to a lot of folks with that backward leaning shaft, but I'm here to tell you if we're going to try to hit the ground before the ball, which we need to in a bunker, that's exactly the way we have to set up. Okay, Square feet, open face pointed at the big toe, shaft and handle leaning back to where it points at the zipper, ball very far forward in the stance. Weight 50-50. If you want to get a little bit left, similar to the other stuff that we've talked about in short game, I don't want your hip to go left. I want your chest to go just a little bit left. If you want to do that, I'm okay with that. And by a little, I mean an inch or two. But I'm okay with 
ball forward, face open, handle back. From a setup standpoint, that's all you need to worry about in a bunker. Okay, so now that you've set up appropriately with your, your four or five setup you know, pieces that we want to remember, square feet, ball forward, face open, handle back, chest you know, 50-50 in the middle or maybe just an inch forward, let's talk a little bit about technique, okay? And here's where it really starts to get different from what we see in the fairway. And so we've talked about bounce in some other videos and I want to kind of just go back to that. When you hit this golf club, normally you would lead with the leading edge meaning the leading edge would strike the golf ball first and then the club would hit the ground and the bounce would, would regulate how the club digs as it moves through the ground. That's what we'd want to do out of the fairway or off the grass when we're hitting ball first. In a bunker, that's not the case. I actually want the trailing edge of the club to get to the sand first. I'll say that again. I want the back edge of the sand wedge to get to the ground before the leading edge. Okay, and so in no way, shape, or form do I need you coming in leading with the handle forward, which would put the leading edge first. I need the handle back so that when you strike the sand, the trailing edge goes into the bunker first. And here's what it's gonna feel like. It's gonna feel like the club is just skimming right over the top of the bunker. There's not gonna be a whole lot of downward dig. There's not gonna be a whole lot of uh, you know, resistance through the sand. I literally want you to take the back edge of this club and throw it at the sand until you hear an audible slap or thud, depending on the type of sand you're hitting out of. You've set yourself up to accomplish that with the ball forward, the face open, and the handle back. Now I want you to just go ahead and make a fairly normal golf swing with your weight moving toward the target and taking the back edge of the club and throwing it down at the bunker to kind of make a slap, which I'll demonstrate here, right? So you can kind of hear that thud or that slap as it just glides right over the top of the bunker. Divot's probably gonna be fairly large, but not very deep. And that's something to remember. If you lead with the leading edge, you'll get a very deep gouging type divot. And that's an indication that you did not come in with that trailing edge first that you came in with the leading edge, kind of like a little shovel, and you dug a bunch of sand out. So again, everything is set up to where you can take the trailing edge of the golf club and throw it down to slap and get it to glide right over the top of the bunker. From a technique standpoint, that's really what sets this technique apart from something that you'll try to do out of the fairway or out of the rough. You would never attempt to do that out of those type of situations, but you have to do it here in a bunker because of the way the, the, the club is gonna react when it hits the dirt. So that's what it is from a technique standpoint. I will demonstrate briefly here. I've got my square set up. I've got the ball forward off my big toe. I've got the face open until the grooves point roughly at the big toe on my lead foot. I've got the handle back. Now I grounded my club. Don't do that when you're playing golf. Handles back, weights 50-50. I'm gonna make a normal golf swing here, finishing left to glide it right across the sand. And you'll see that really big, thin divot. Ball flies right out high and soft on that sand that's been displaced. And from a technique standpoint, that's what you've gotta do out of a bunker. This is not a chip shot. It's not a pitch shot. It's very, very different. Make those adjustments this becomes your favorite shot instead of your most favorite.